uh, I think I can start to feel the marijuana now. And uh, I'm just watching a show and my mom came and brought me peeps. But she, she, she puts it on the wall and then I come out and I get them off this wall over there. But she stays far away from me because of the social distancing. So she'll be in the parking lot and I just wave and she just waves from far away and drops little things off like this. It's so <laughs> cute. Okay. This is the status that we're at right now. Maricone Dream. Sour Patch Kids flips. And I found a cool documentary about... They look like Amish people in New Zealand or something. And they think the world's going to end. And that, like, they're kind of, like, they just have their own community. And they don't have money or anything. And they don't have technology. And I was just thinking, like, I love, like, documentaries. And I love seeing how other people live like this. Like, I didn't even know these people existed. And now this is a whole documentary about their life and how they live. And it interests me so much. It's kind of like looking into, like, another dimension. It's like a parallel universe. How can people be interested in parallel universes and not be interested in like documentaries like this and other cultures? Not that I've ever met a person who was like, hey, I'm into parallel universes. And then I said, hey, want to watch this documentary? And they were like, nah, that sounds boring. I have no idea what I'm talking about. Okay, bye. Oh my God, I'm watching Phantom of the Opera. There's um a YouTube channel that since everyone's stuck at home is um putting out, it's called The Show Must Go On putting out Andrew Lloyd Webber stage productions, the theater productions, every Friday night, available for 48 hours. So they did Phantom of the Opera, which was the first musical theater show I saw. I think I was seven years old. Magical. Just really like, I was like, wow. I just thought, how is this happening? How is that happening? Because I was a kid and seeing this thing, and they can do such wonderful things. And like, in the production... A chandelier falls from the ceiling. I'm going to, like, cry because I don't know why. Like, when I watch it, it just, like, makes me, like, emotional and, like, I get goosebumps and stuff. So I hope you find something, I guess, in your life that makes you feel this way. And I know for other people it could be music or something, but I just can I just, nothing else makes me feel this way. Gentlemen! My mom brought me over this box of stuff from my childhood. I found a, a letter my grandma sent me. She's still alive. She's in the nursing home. I just feel bad we can't be with her. She's like, has dementia and like paranoia. And she was scared sometimes and now I don't even know what she thinks we haven't been there in so long because we can't go obviously I don't know. since I'm enjoying dear Natalie enjoy a movie on me remember how we used to go to the summer movies when you were a little girl saved voice messages to listen to your messages press 1 First saved voice message. Hi, Natalie. This is Jeannie. Grandma Jeannie. And I called your number by mistake. But I still think of you every day. Come over some night after supper. Or, I mean, after work. Love you. Next message. Hi, this is Grandma Jean. The fella is still on Jeopardy. This is his eighth night. He's won a fortune. Turn on Jeopardy. Next message. Hi, Natalie. I wanted to tell you I'm watching Jeopardy, and you were here four, no, let's see, 12 days ago, and that Matt, that was winning all the money. He's still on 12 days later. He's been winning money, money, money. Call me when you get a chance. End of message.